Hello crafty friends, it's Jess from JessCrafts.com and today I have a tutorial that shows you a little bit of a different way to use your card making or paper crafting supplies. In today's video I'm going to be altering a canvas tote and the tote that I'm using is from Mamu Bags and you can see here how they are packaged. They are really high quality canvas bags. A lot of the canvas bags you might just pick up at your local craft store are going to be floppy. They only have the one handle option. Sometimes they aren't comfortable, like the, the um, straps aren't long enough. But this one has two versions of straps on it. It has the sort of handle totes as well as a long strap so that you can throw it over your shoulder or wear it as a messenger bag across your body. The, the strap is a little small because these are designed for kids. The company is mamukids.com but they can definitely be used for adults. I personally plan to use mine to store my art journaling on the go supplies. And these are high quality bags made in the US. I particularly also love the fact that they include a zipper so it holds in all of your products and projects without having to worry about anything spilling out or even if there's a little light drizzle about getting water in your bag and protecting your paper like that. So for this blank artist tote, they have a lot of design totes as well, but I wanted to create my own and make my own quote, similar to what I do in my art journal. So I have these stamps from Lawn Fawn. I love their different alphabet stamp sets because they are really easy to line up and I knew with this bag that I was going to get basically one shot at it because I wanted to make sure that the ink that I used was permanent and so when I stamp it down it has to look good. It's not as simple as a card where if things don't turn out quite the right way you could always get a new piece. So I'm definitely working a little bit more carefully. However, if you use high quality products it is easy to get a good look the first time. So I'm lining up the alphabet stamps because here I picked out the quote that says creativity takes courage and I picked this quote from my Pinterest art journaling board. I save a lot of different creativity, craft, art related quotes there to reflect on in my art journal. But this one is a quote from Matisse who's an artist and I started by writing the quote on a piece of uh, just post-it note scrap paper because I wanted to think about where the center would be and think about the placement of the letters. You want to, um, when you're lining up a quote, especially if you want to center it, you want to think about counting the letters from each side to make sure that they're centered over each other. But when you're considering that, you have to also consider that some letters are thinner than others. So the middle letter might not be exactly in the middle if there are shorter letters. And so that's why I always just like to write it all out first, get a feel for it before I stamp anything down. My other recommendation would be if you're less confident with your stamping to do a practice stamp or two, but also if you don't get a perfectly crisp black image the first time, you can go in with a permanent marker and trace over some of the lines. So all is not lost if the image isn't perfectly dark. For the word creativity, there was a second I, and in this Lawn Fawn set, there's only one of each letter, but it's really easy to remedy with clear stamps because I could just put the rest of the letters on and stamp it down, line it up very easily because you can see right through these clear blocks. I knew that I wanted to use a permanent ink, and in this case I chose Stazon. Stazon is not recommended for fabric because it says that it can break down, the solvent ink can break down the fabric over time. However, time is a long time. And, you know, this bag is going to last me a really long time. And even if these little strips of ink start breaking down over time, I just really think with this really thick, high quality canvas, I think it would take just, you know, probably years and years and years for it to make any difference at all. However, there are more fabric safe inks out there if you're really concerned. Um, I hear that VersaCraft ink is really good, but I knew that the Stazon would do the job. I knew that it would look good for years and I knew that it would work well with the Copics that I'll color with later. I'm going to continue lining up all the letter stamps till I spell out the entire quote. In this particular case, I didn't choose to put the um, Matisse's name with the quote um, in that sort of give him credit kind of way, mostly because I know that most people will recognize the quote and also that it would take a little bit away from my design here. As I mentioned before, if you don't get a perfectly dark image, that's okay. You could just take a similar 
um, permanent ink marker to trace things over. This bit of design is only in a small corner of my bag and so these bags are washable like I said they're made of um, a canvas or cotton and so you could in theory wash the bag if you make sure that all of the supplies you use are going to stay permanent in the wash however if you're not a hundred percent sure I would just recommend spot cleaning if you're going to use this bag as an artist bag though you're probably going to be okay with a little drips and drops of paint that might get on it as you're working but um, and this bag, I'm personally, I'm making it for myself, but I could imagine making these for a kid, a young artist to keep all of their supplies and it'd be a great Christmas gift because you could decorate the bag for them and, you know, which gives a really special personal touch and then include some art supplies as their gift or leave it blank and let them decorate their own. So there I stamped a lion from the Critters on the Savannah stamp set and a crayon from the Color My World stamp set, both from Lawn Fawn. The image, sorry, the um, idea there was to pull in the courage with the lion and then the creativity with the crayon. And I'm also, again, thinking about those words in my coloring. With the word courage, I'm going to use a red color, as that's often associated with the idea of courage, just like lions are. And then with creativity, I'm going to pull in a rainbow pattern. I am using Copic markers, which are alcohol-based markers. And normally, they look really excellent with shading, and you can get a lot of depth and dimension. But in this case, I'm not actually using them in that way because they are going to absorb into the fabric and they're not going to blend as much as they do on paper. They are meant to work on you know, cardstock and paper most, but they are good for fabric because they're a permanent ink. And so I'm not going to do any blending. I'm just going to do solid coloring. The word creativity has, I believe, nine letters, and so, but a rainbow is only six or seven colors. So I just extended the rainbow a little bit by adding like two different colors of green, a sort of yellow green, transitioning into a darker, and the same thing with a blue, like a blue green, and then into a blue. That's a tip for when you're trying to use rainbows, but it's not quite working out, is you could always stretch the colors by adding a, a you know, sort of a mid color uh, between two colors, or you can leave out some colors and it will still read as a rainbow. Um, if you leave out the colors at the end, like um, especially purple, it still, still tends to read as a rainbow even without purple. For the takes in the middle, I wanted to sort of de-emphasize that word because I'm really focusing on the idea of creativity and courage. And so I'm just going to come in with a warm gray Copic marker. If you didn't have Copic markers, another suggestion for adding color would be to use paint. You could use a fabric quality paint to make it more washable, and you could just come in with a paintbrush. However, the Copic markers, I know that many card makers have those on hand, and so I wanted to show you what you could do with something that you might already have. I did not at all have to go out and buy anything special to make this project, but I have something that's highly personalized and would be a really special and unique gift. I'm also, I personally plan to put my art journaling supplies on it because sometimes I like to bring a little handful of supplies when I'm going visiting in the holiday times. Sometimes you'll be, you'll stay at someone's house for a few days and um, I don't know about you, but I, I really like being able to be creative almost every day and so just being able to pack my art journal and a set of watercolors and a couple pens would be really important to me and this bag's size would be perfect for that. To color in the crayon I chose to go with the purple because it kind of balances out with the red being in two places on um, and the red being the start of the rainbow balancing it out the purple being the end of the rainbow and bringing that purple back in so also the lion is a very warm color with the oranges and the yellows and so i wanted to balance it with a cool color in the purples and i chose to make the crayon wrapper a slightly different color as that's often the case um, with crayons that the wrapper doesn't exactly match one of the best things about the Mamu bags is there's that ability to personalize, including that each bag has this little area for you to put your child's name or the name of the recipient 
Um, you know, like I said these bags were originally designed for kids and it is super important to put your kids' names on their stuff because as a teacher, I know that sometimes things, people's things get mixed up. So I personally chose to just write art stuff on there rather than labeling it with my name. I am super happy with the quality of these bags and I want to thank Mamu for sponsoring this video. Um, that's it for my project today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in more crafting tutorials, especially card making, you can subscribe to my channel. I will leave you a link to Mamu Bags where you can pick up this sturdy blank artist canvas tote for just $16, perfect for holiday gifts. Thanks for watching. Bye.